Pocket deuces for Negrano. He'll make the call. Downside to those ducks, of course. If you don't flop a set, you're staring at three overcards. Ten high flop, couple clubs. Quick check by Negrano. Moneymaker bets 1300 And Daniel calls. Board pairs on the turn. It's actually a good card for Daniel. If his hand was good on the flop, it's good now. Bet and call of 2200 there on the turn. River brings a five of diamonds. You're good. Oof, that's what I was hoping you'd say. <laughs> You're good. Music to my ears. <laughs> check, check at the end. Daniel takes the pot. Chris shut it down, but he may have been able to take this pot with a big enough bet on the river. I didn't want to hear 5,800. <laughs> I wanted to say it. You wanted to say it? You were this close. Nah, forget it. Uh, Move on over to table four. Mike Mattiso, affectionately known as the mouth on the left, taking on Dario Minieri. The diminutive one. Mattiso, 9 6 suited, limps in on the button. Minieri, 10 deuce, and he checks. Mattiso pairs his six on the flop. Two quick checks. Check. Trip sixes on the turn for Mattiso. Now he can comfortably fire a bet out there. Small one of 600. Minieri raises to 1,500. Dario not afraid to bluff. He's going to make sure Mike wasn't just trying to pick up the pot there. Mike calls. Oh, he wants Dario to fire the end. Check. Eight of hearts on the river. Check by Minieri. Mattiso bets. 1,500. Dario folds. Yeah, he took a shot on the turn and was done with it. You're right, he does bluff a lot. <laughs> he tried to bluff me the first hand. I told you. He won't stop, Mike. Damn hard had to come on the river, cost me like two grand. <laughs> we move back to our feature table with Daniel Negrano and Chris Moneymaker. Negrano's King 10, courtesy of our GoDaddy.com pocket cam. He raises to 800. Moneymaker 6'4 suited. And he re raises to 2,400. Like we talked about earlier, Craig, Moneymaker wants Daniel to get involved in big pots, try to get him out of his comfort zone. Mm. Negrano calls. Flop brings a couple of deuces. A couple of spades out there as well. Chris has flopped a flush draw. Okay, so I get it. When you re-raise, there's always two deuces out there. That's that's how it's going to be. <laughs> that's why I'm raising with deuces. <laughs> that's smart. Moneymaker bet 2,900. Negrano folds. My, my white on my stacks here. We'll be back to Vegas with more of the National Heads Up Poker Championship after this. Welcome back to Caesars Palace, Las Vegas, and the National Heads Up Poker Championship. The action has been fast and furious, and we return now to our featured table where Daniel Negrano is up against 2003 yes, main event champ maybe. Chris Moneymaker. The stack's about even, Ali. Lines are up to three and 600 now. <laughs> Ace nine suited for Moneymaker. He raises to 1500. Negrano with seven six. He calls. Already 3,000 in the pot. Queen 8 7, Rainbow. Negrano pairs his 7 on the flop and checks. Moneymaker bets 2,000. And a call from Negrano. Chris's ace high out flopped here. Deuce of Hearts on the turn. Check, check. King of Hearts on the river. Daniel takes the pot. Good hand. Standard preflop raising Ooh. continuation bet from Chris. Daniel keeping the pot small. Daniel's focus at this precise moment is on the next move against Chris, but lately he's had a difficult family situation first and foremost on his mind. Recently, my mother had a stroke. We took her into the hospital, and um, you know we found that she had really bad heart problems and that she also had a heart attack when she had the stroke. So the doctor uh, advised us that he needed to do open heart surgery to fix some valves, and unfortunately, 
what was a minor stroke, during surgery she had a major stroke and she didn't wake up for like five days. I still can see her in there. So right now she's fighting, she's fighting so hard. She's that old school European woman who doesn't want to be a burden on anybody. She wanted me to go to work. I genuinely believe, you know, through speaking to her and knowing my mother that she would want me here. A Herculean task for Negrano to be able to turn his attention and focus at the moment to the task at hand on the felt. And Daniel has a very close relationship with his mother. Several people in the poker community know her as well. I can imagine it's not easy to be here and focusing on poker right now. But he seems up to the challenge. 6-4 suited for Negrano, raises to 1,200. 8-7 suited for Moneymaker, he calls. This is very much Daniel's style. Min raise on the button, playing small ball. Good flop for Daniel, working on the flush draw. Moneymaker with a gut shot straight draw. Queen of Diamonds on the turn gives Daniel the flush. Moneymaker now drawing dead, he checks. That's Negrano 16. bets 1600 Weird, I didn't know what to do in the flop. And the fold uh, from Moneymaker. I had a flush draw, and I was like, should I check it or bet it? So in other words, I have a flush, but <laughs> I was like. I had a very pretty hand free flop. Yeah? Turned into oh, sure. complete air on the flop. I was a gen that was a genuine. What do I do? Yeah, should I fire here? He might have a piece. I'll take a free one. If you fire, you win it there. If you, uh... Yeah, I was like, as it turns out, it didn't matter. But now when I made it, I'm like, oh, baby, come on. Yeah, yeah. Show well, me something. Makes it a lot easier, doesn't it? Show me something, Chris. <laughs> Show me what you're working with. We head back over to the Minieri Matisau match and chip count about even here, Ali. Lines at 200 and 400. Dario's drowning in that Hello. scarf. They make that in the youth small? 7-5 <laughs> for Minieri. He raises to 1,100. King-9 suited cool. for Matisau. He calls. Dario pairs his five. Check. Matisseau checks. 13. At 1,300. Minieri bets 1,300. He's in position with control of this pot, fires his continuation bet, very standard, oh. and Matisseau knows, after calling here, that Minieri doesn't have to connect with a board like this. He's going to bet a wide variety of hands. Look at that. Five's full Check. on the turn for Minieri. And both players have checked. Check. This is part caution, part slow play on Dario's part, in my opinion. Doesn't want to be up against 10's full, but now that Matisau's checked the river, he can comfortably bet 2,400. Call. Full. Matisau calls. Minieri takes the pot. <clears throat> Was that or nothing? When you give action, you get action. Sometimes Satan or nothing, yeah. Not that good with an ace. You ain't betting an ace. I mean, I, I'm, I'm not betting an ace, that's why I'm No, saying. I know that. That's yeah, why yeah. I called you. I can have nothing, yeah, yeah. Should've I mean, re 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 split. It's a call to win or to lose, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. yeah. Now we swing over to table three where Jennifer Tilly is all in against 2008 heads up semifinalist Phil Ivey, but Jennifer has the best hand. When you play so Ivy, all you have to do is pray. <laughs> Here's the clock. I've been pretty lucky with it. <laughs> king, 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 king. Eight right in the window. Follow oh, trip eights on the flop for Ivy. Ouch. Oh, and look at Jennifer's boyfriend, Phil Locke, throwing on the hoodie. He's ready to start the car. That's not good. You can do it, Phil. Never bet against Phil Ivy. I learned that a long time ago. Ivy fills up, but Jennifer can chop the pot with a case ace. We need the last <laughs> remaining ace in the jack. Here's the river. Ace. No ace means Phil Ivy, Ivy will advance to the round of 32, continuing his great run from 2008. Tough exit for Jennifer Tilly. Can't get it in much better than that. So where do I go now? Go to go find the other horseshoe that you've been missing for the last 10 years. Should be walk, should be under one of the chairs. Ivy all smiles. It's the luckiest and the best. How do you be the best and the luckiest in the same time? <laughs> Matt is so saying, I think what everybody else is thinking, Ollie. It just ain't fair, is it? With fire in my hand.
here on the red carpet at the National Heads Up Poker Championship Pairings Party presented by GoDaddy.com here at Pure Nightclub.